Hey guys, this is Mike from B Tech Reviews here, and today we are going to take a look at and revisit the fingerprint sensor on the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Mike from B Tech Reviews, and today we're going to take a look at the Google Pixel 6 Pro and its fingerprint sensor. So just a heads up, I made a video when the phone first came out and I wanted to test out the fingerprint sensor and that video kind of went viral. I think I have a little over 10,000 views. But now that the phone is running Android 13 beta, I wanted to just show you guys that the phone is run, running Android 13 uh, with the actual device here. And again, this is the Google Pixel 6 Pro Sunny, I believe this is the almost sunny version. And again, t shout out to Team Pixel for sending the phone out to me last year uh, when it came out. And I'm looking forward to uh, checking out the Pixel 6a when it comes out as well. Uh, bear in mind, I am I still have only kind of one good arm right now, so I might be only using one hand for this uh, video. But anywho, so I wanted to test out the Pixel 6 Pro. Uh, since again, this uh, is running Android 13 now and I've noticed that over the last couple of updates that this uh, does uh, fingerprint sensor is a little more responsive. So just so you guys know, this is the version of Android that this is running and I believe I just updated it a few days ago. So just keep that in mind and you know, be uh, wearful of what uh, version of that is. Again, this is Android 13 beta. So again, it, results may differ from one phone uh, to the other. Uh, so just keep that a heads up. So how I want to start this is I actually want to have the phone off just like that. And again, I'm going to be using my right thumb here. Let's let's take a look to see how long it takes to get it right on the the spot. Okay, there we go. So really, that really didn't take too much time. And again, a lot of people uh, are kind of upset because uh, Google didn't use, I guess, the supersonic uh, fingerprint sensors. This one just has, I guess, one of the older versions of the fingerprint sensors, which you know, has to illuminate, I guess, or something like that. So again, screens on, screens off. I always have my always on display on, by the way, guys, uh, on the phone. So that's why you're seeing that. Let's try again. Again, it's relatively quick. Let's, let's see if I can try my left thumb now. And again, I have to kind of pull, pull it up here just because let's go ahead and try it. Okay. It's really not too bad. And again, I feel like there's a little bit of a delay because of the only on display, right? But if I were to just press the lock screen button and then to unlock it like that it would actually go pretty quick so wow i'm uh, you know i'm i'm definitely impressed on the uh the speed and how how it's changed right i'm still not too big of a fan of in uh i guess in screen uh fingerprint sensors because they're not always going to be 100 percent. and compared to a phone that has like a fingerprint sensor that's in the back of the phone uh, or you can even compare it to like the iPhone, uh, you know, SE with the, you know, the regular plain Jane fingerprint sensor. These ones are a little more hard to work with. There you go. You, again, you can tell there was a little bit of a delay there, but not too bad. And hopefully you guys are, you know, using this and, you know, telling yourself, hey, hopefully this helps me decide to purchase, you know, the phone. Obviously, this is not the only reason why someone would buy a phone, but you'd be surprised there was a lot of people that, you know, this was a deal breaker for them. So, so, you know, for, to me, this is a big, it's a major, it's a major, uh, I guess, soft, all these software updates that it's had over the past, you know, six, seven months already. It's definitely improved. You guys can kind of see there. And again, and again, let's do a race to wake. Okay. So there, I didn't have it on all the way really just depends on your placement because I, I feel like you're never always going to get it perfect. But, you know, again, I guess that's on the person and whoever decides to, uh, you know, set up their thumb or, or your finger or your, you know, your fingerprint on your index finger or something like that. Obviously me, I'm going to use my thumb pretty good. I mean, honestly, I feel like it picks up more with my left hand than anything else, guys. But you guys be the judge, you know, again, this is just a revisit on the Google Pixel uh, 6 Pro and its fingerprint sensor. And again, I got to give a shout out to Team Pixel members that, you know, have stayed with this phone and are testing it out every day and just using it and enjoying it again. You know, I love this device. You know, it's my first, uh, like, I guess, flagship Pixel device that I've owned. I've I've had the Pixel 5a, which I'm actually filming on right now. So if you guys are wondering, this is being filmed on the Pixel 5a. And, you know, a, a lot of people complain about that phone. And, you know, there's a lot of little quirks and features that people dislike about this phone. But overall, it's a very solid device. And I can tell you right now, the, the Google Pixel 7 is just going to be a much, uh, a much better phone. And even the 6a, if you think about it, which is going to have all, pretty much the same internals minus, uh, you know, the... Uh, a few features here and there 
Uh, again, that's going to be an improvement. So we might see, a, I'm definitely going to compare the fingerprint sensors on the 6A versus the 6 Pro just to kind of see, you know, where that lies at. And then we'll go from there, guys. But again, I really appreciate y'all, you know, checking out the channel, giving my channel thumbs up and a subscription. So please, you know, if you guys like the content, I do live streams. I, you know, I, I don't just post regular tech videos, right? I, I do uh, community live streams where, you know, we just chit chat and talk about tech. We can talk about, you know, whatever vehicles, uh, you know, fandom anything like that you know if you guys are into movies and want to talk about like the marvel movies or anything like that but again i really appreciate y'all checking the video out and again don't forget to smash the like button at the end of this really appreciate that again guys this is mike from btech review signing off check that out oh okay good 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 again smash the like button we'll see y'all next time and again shout out to latrell shout out to magic text shout out to tito shout out to tobin and shout out to uh tech for your needs okay just just many shout outs towards the end but you guys have a great evening have a good day. Thank you.